Hey everyone, my name is Christian Aguilar. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming at you with another video talking all about personal finance. Most of my viewers really liked the first one that I published, which makes me really happy because personal finance is a skill that I've developed and I want to continue to seek knowledge in. Today's challenge is if you can get my very first video up to 100 likes, I will leave the video's link in the description box. Or if you can get this video up to 50 likes, I will do a part three where I talk about how to save, how to budget, and how to stay financially stable starting at age 18. Before I begin, I would like to say that I am able to talk about personal finance because I've read Dave Ramsey's The Total Money Makeover. I have read I Will Teach You To Be Rich by Remit Sethi. I am also currently reading Everything You Need To Know About Money and Investing. A Financial Expert Answers The 1001 Most Frequently Asked Questions by Sarah Young Fisher and Carol A. Turkington. Without further ado, let's get started. The very first tip to saving, budgeting, and staying financially stable is to give up a bad spending habit. I am not going to front. One of my bad spending habits was Starbucks. Ever since I signed up with the Starbucks Rewards program, I was only buying drinks just for the stars and not my enjoyment. I was so focused on the stars that I wasn't even paying attention to how much I was spending. Now that I am a gold member, I realized, you know what, it's time to start saving and start cutting back on Starbucks drinks because not only is it decreasing the money in my bank account, but it is also damaging my health because there is a lot of sugar in Starbucks drinks, especially in those frappuccinos and those are the ones that I love the most. So I encourage all of you to take the time to sit down and think about what is your bad spending habit. It could be cigarettes, alcohol, Starbucks, or fast food. I ended up getting rid of Starbucks from my weekly routine, which I am so proud of myself, pat on the back. If you give up your bad spending habit, trust me, you are going to save. You are going to learn how to self-discipline your spendings, and trust me, you are definitely going to stay financially stable. Let's get physical. Oh. Let, 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 let. My second tip is my $100 debit card budgeting strategy. The way that this strategy works is I load $100 to my checking account and that is how much guilt-free spending money I have. With this $100, I can spend it on unnecessary things. For example, if I want to go out with my friends, I want to buy a Starbucks drink, or if I want to go to a fast food restaurant. The way that it works, first you are going to load $100 to your checking account. The rest of the money that you receive is going to your savings account, it's gonna to go to your bills slash utilities, and it could also go to your emergency fund. The tricky part about this strategy is it can only have $100. For example, if you spend $70, when the next month rolls in, you're only going to add $30 so that it can even up to $100. That is your goal. Your goal is to keep it at $100. Just because you spent $30 doesn't mean you're going to add another 100 the next month and have $170. That is definitely not how it works. I've done this for three months now and I have gotten pretty used to it. I really hope that you try this because it's going to help you save and it's really going to help you budget, which will definitely keep you financially stable. I don't wanna know. The third tip is to get rid of or lower a payment. For example, I've been with Verizon for almost three years now and I barely realized that it's overpriced and I'm getting ripped off. I was literally paying $30 for one gigabyte of data. Can you believe that? One gigabyte. So I decided to transfer to Metro PCS, which most of you are probably thinking, what the heck, that is such a downgrade. Honestly, it does everything that Verizon does, so I have no problem with it. And I have a lower payment, which makes me so happy. I was literally paying $90 a month at Verizon, and I am currently now paying $29 at Metro PCS. I also got rid of a payment, which was paying off my phone. I also advise you to get rid of a payment. I was paying $27 for two years for my cell phone. The only way that you can leave Verizon is to pay off the phone, so that is exactly what I did. I used the money from my emergency fund to pay off the rest of my cell phone, and I transitioned to Metro PCS. So getting rid of or lowering a payment, do whatever it takes, negotiate, do your research on different companies, try to find a good deal with a lower payment. The fourth tip is to pretend that you are still making payments after you have gotten rid of a payment. For example, I have braces, I am paying these off by myself, I am paying $167 a month, but in September they are going to be officially paid off 
It takes two years to pay off your braces. After September, I'm going to pretend that I am still making payments toward my braces. So what I am going to do is get that $167 and put it into my savings account, put it into my emergency fund, whatever it takes so that I can save. Because if I just have $167 lying around, who knows what I can buy with that. I can definitely use that money for unnecessary things, so i rather pretend that I'm still making payments. You make me The fifth tip is to invest in your skill or business. For example, I am a photographer, I was shooting with a point and shoot for a very long time and I realized, you know what, if I want to enhance my business, it's time to get a DSLR camera. So as soon as I started working, I realized, you know what, let's start saving for a DSLR camera. That is exactly what I did and when I saved up enough money, I went to Target and I bought the camera that is in front of me. So if you have a talent or a skill, Make sure that you are saving up for that so that you can have high quality stuff for your business. And please do not say that you do not have a skill or talent. It really makes me sad when people say that because everyone has a skill or talent. You just probably haven't found it. So if you haven't found it, start saving up so that the day that you do find it, for example, what if you want to become a YouTuber? If you save up enough money, the day that you actually want to publish a video, you already have the right equipment. Trust me, I know you have a skill or talent, you just don't realize it. For example, painting is a skill, graphic arts, photography, anything in the fine arts, anything is a skill. And if you can make money off of that, that's totally awesome. That is it. I hope all of you enjoyed this video. If so, give this video a thumb up so I can continue to do more videos like this. Remember, if you can get this video up to 50 likes or my first personal finance, how to save money fast 2017 video up to 100 likes, I will do a part three. If you don't know who I am, my name is Christian Aguilar. I have a self-help and lifestyle channel. I give a lot of advice on personal finance, nutrition, and building self-confidence. I also like to make it fun and throw in a DIY, a haul, or a product review. If you are interested in my journey, you should definitely hit that subscribe button so that you can join my YouTube community and help me reach 1,000 subscribers before 2018. Until next time, see y'all later.